This is a textbook serial killer's calling card. Look. She was talking about a case that got a decent amount of attention around here back in late January. A woman looked at her phone, found a strange picture of a man on it, called police, and then Crime Stoppers put out a release warning people about the man. The original thought was this. Whoever this was went into the woman's house, snapped a selfie with her cell phone, and then left. Super creepy kind of stuff. Only problem was the story wasn't true. The picture was of Benjamin Siebert and came from his Facebook page. It was all a big misunderstanding. He committed no crime whatsoever, but Grace's story circulated online as well without retraction, and for that, Siebert is suing. Our legal expert calls it a difficult but potentially winnable battle. Statistically, it's almost an insurmountable obstacle, but there are exceptions to the rule, and this lawsuit against Nancy Grace may be one of them. So we reached out to Nancy Grace's show, have yet to hear back from them. In addition, Metro Denver Crime Stoppers is named in the suit. A spokesperson there told us as soon as they found out the information was wrong, they issued a retraction. Adele? And Chris, I'm hearing that Siebert's attorneys are now asking other people who feel like they've been defamed to step forward. They are relying a lot of, on Nancy Grace's reputation in this. Their lawsuit names a litany of, of instances where they believe Nancy Grace has wronged people, and that's why they're saying they want to go out against her in this particular instance.